Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from DomesticatedMe.com and today I'm so excited to finally share all the pieces that I picked up from the Target New Designer Collection. This is another one of their limited edition collections where they partner with new, emerging, or just lesser known designers. And this collection did not disappoint. Every year, I always say to myself, I don't need to shop this, I don't need any more clothes, I don't need to shop this, and then I see the pieces and I absolutely fall in love. And this year was no exception. I looked through the collections of the four designers and I was floored. There were some pieces that I just knew I had to have. If you're new to my channel, the way that I do these hauls is that I talk about the collection them itself, what interested me, why I decided to purchase, any information that is valuable about my experience shopping the collection that might provide some tips for you if you want to shop them in the future and then I show you the actual pieces and then I finally wrap it up with my final thoughts about the collection my review if you will so let's get started now I just want to clarify that this is actually called the fall designer collection because many of these artists are not new or up and coming they're just not widely known as other designers are the four designers are Victor Glamod, Nilly Lotan, Rachel Comey and Sandy Leong for Victor Glamont, I'm going to say fun, bright, and bold. Definitely, if you are on the bolder side of fashion, if you would like to make statements, if you want to walk into a room and have people's heads turn, Victor Glamont was probably your favorite designer from this collection. Nilly Lotan has chic, classic pieces that will complete your fall wardrobe. I'm going to say she understood the assignment because some of her pieces just scream fall. So I love that about her particular line. In my opinion, Rachel Comey is a designer if you like fashion-forward workwear. So pieces that you would wear and pull off in the office, but with bolder prints and colors and materials. Sandy Leong's pieces includes playful and feminine pieces with a little bit of an edge. Trendy, feminine, but edgy at the same time. I really, really loved her line. So again, I really wasn't planning on purchasing anything from this collection because I just don't need anything. I'm not going out as much still. So I wasn't planning on making some huge haul. But when I saw the pieces, there were just some things that I absolutely wanted. So let's start with Sandy Liang because that is what I'm wearing today. I am wearing the dress the black tulle dress. I love, love, love this dress. This is the first thing that popped uh, out at me and I knew that I wanted, that I had to have. So I purchased this one. Now I'll just say, I'll just mention that I am wearing an Adore Me uh, cage bra underneath. So this right here is not part of the dress. It's just this and then the sleeves. I. I just I just fell in love. I feel like this is really giving me witchy vibes. So if you are into DIYing costumes based on what you have in your closet, I think this is an excellent piece. And by the way, if you want me to do a video on how I'm going to DIY some costumes, let me know because there are a few pieces in this collection, in this haul, that I feel like would make great costumes. If you know how to jazz it up. So anyway, I love this dress and I'm so happy that I got my hands on it. In fact, I wanted it more than anything, more than any other piece, which is why when I went to the website, I noticed that it said that it would be available online at 2.30 a.m., at 3 a.m., excuse me, 3 a.m. So I woke up, yes, a few minutes before 3 a.m. to put this in my cart and purchase it because I did not want to miss out. And it was the best decision I ever made because when I went to my local Target to shop this collection, I was the first one at my local Target, but they did not have all of the pieces from the collection. And this is one of the pieces that they just did not carry. So I made the right decision in purchasing this ahead of time because if I had waited, I would have missed out on this. And I'm really glad that I didn't because I love this piece. The next piece from our collection is the Quilted Jogger. I love these. I saw them online and I just thought they looked super cool, but just also really useful for when it gets really cold here in New York. I'm talking like I'm standing outside for I don't know how long because I'm waiting for my kid to get off the school bus. Like this is just going to be so handy, but it is super cool, quilted, warm. It's got snap buttons at the cuff and really nice details really nice thick drawstrings and then these little metallic ends to the drawstrings so they did this is this is just like a cool useful piece and then the last piece I got from her is this uh, patchwork dress I feel like you could DIY a doll costume out of this which I hope to show you soon but it was just a really cute piece it has pockets which hello 
can't get any better than that. I love a dress with pockets, and I just thought it was really nice and really pretty. And um, what I love is that you can wear this in warmer weather, and you could also put a turtleneck underneath, wear it with combat boots, and put like a leather jacket over it, and you got a nice fall outfit right there. So really, really handy, really pretty. I really liked it. So Rachel Comey's is actually the only designer that I didn't purchase from. Not on purpose, I just realized when I picked out everything out that I just didn't have anything from hers. Not that I didn't want anything, but the pieces that I was interested in weren't at my local Target, and so I just kind of you know, passed on it. Again, mostly because I feel like it's really good workwear, and I'm no longer going into an office Monday to Friday, so it's just one that I could skip. Okay, let's move on to Victor Glamod. Now, this is these pieces are sold separately, but they also are a set. You can absolutely wear them together. I think they're meant to be worn together, but you don't have to. So I'll show you the top first. So this right here is the sweater top. It's kind of boxy cut, uh, loose, but I just love this black with the white piping. I just think it looks so interesting, so cool. And then I purchased the pants, which have these really exaggerated flare bottoms. Now, I wish that these were not flare, just because I think I have like trauma from when I was growing up in the 2000s and the flare bottoms. I'm, I, just, I just can't jump into that trend. I just, I'm having difficulties. So I really wish these weren't flare but they are cool they are interesting i just think it's a really cool look um bold again that's victor so I, I i just had i just had to purchase it and try it out now if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i have always loved polka dots i love polka dots and so when he came out with all these pieces in all these knit pieces in polka dots i immediately were, was drawn to them so this is the crew neck top um it's just cute it's just cute i love the length of the sleeve it goes right to your elbow and you can wear this with jeans you can wear it with a skirt you can wear it with slacks to work you could you know dress it up dress it down um you can jazz it up with like some really great jewelry um i also got the skirt to wear it as a set and this is like a pencil cut knit skirt so all of these pieces are knit and it's a really nice thick good quality knit and i just think it'd be a great it's just a great look. Um, it also came with a top, which I did not purchase, um, a, a sleeveless like tank top, also a knit, but I just would preferred the crew neck, and then I also preferred the cardigan. So I don't think I should keep both. Can you guys let me know in the comment section, should I keep the crew neck top or the cardigan? I'm kind of, I don't know, I just think this is, this is like really cute and I like it, I know I'd wear it a ton, but also I feel like this is also super versatile because I could just wear this with the skirt, with anything, with whatever top underneath, and yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I like them both. Should I keep both? Let me know what you think. And last but not least, I'm going to show you the pieces that I got from Nilly's uh, line, and the first thing that I was drawn to was this leopard slip dress. I'm really into slip dresses right now. I love leopard print, so this is the first one that I was drawn to. And what I love about this is that it's a fall piece, but it's a great transition piece because for warmer days, you could just wear it like this, or you can wear a turtleneck or some sort of sweater underneath, and a DIY costume. If you wanna dress up as a leopard, here's your dress. Do some makeup. I'll tag my my leopard makeup tutorial down in the description box below if you think that this is something you might want to try out easy super easy tutorial how to do the leopard print on your face and uh yeah there's your halloween costume so remember when i said that she understood the assignment well she absolutely did and some of her pieces just scream fall perfect for the fall check out this paisley dress i mean this is just such a perfect fall print same styling cut as the leopard dress so it's a slip dress they also sold this as skirts but i'd rather get the dress because you can always turn a dress into a skirt by just wearing something over it so i like the look of a slip dress with a sweater over it and it just looks like a, a skirt and so that way you kind of get two for one with the dress um these straps are adjustable it has a slip 
Um, you could wear it alone. You can wear it with something underneath, like a turtleneck or some sort of sweater underneath, a t-shirt underneath, wear it with boots, wear it with heels, um, make it casual, make it a little more fancy, or you can top it off with the ultimate fall piece from this collection, and that is this thick knit cardigan. How gorgeous is this color? Isn't it like the perfect fall cardigan, the perfect fall sweater? This one was the only one at my local Target, so I'm really glad that I picked this up because ugh, it's just perfect, it's just perfect. I'm gonna wear this a ton, I know. So that is everything that I picked up from the Fall Designer Collection with Target. Again, this is these limited edition collections that Target does when they partner with designers, usually higher end designers that the average person doesn't have as much access to because they're either very expensive, they're very exclusive or both, you know, or just not as well known and only in certain stores and certain fashion circles will you know who these designers are. Um, and so that's why I really love these collections because you're exposing the general public to interesting designers that they don't see every day. My final thoughts about the collection is I loved it. I love that you had four designers with very distinct looks and styles and aesthetics and moods. So no matter what you're into, you could find something from these collections that you would like. So if you like feminine pieces, if you want something for the office, if you want something that's bold and fashion forward or just like a nice fall piece, you could find them in these collections. So I love that. And I'm just very impressed with the pieces that I liked, the pieces that I purchased, I'm so happy with them. And most of these are still available online. Most of these are still currently available online. So go to the Target website. I will link to the uh, collection page down in the description box below so you can check these pieces out because again, most of these are still available. I think this sold out, a few pieces did sell out. One of the items that I was hoping to see in person before I made the purchase was this leather shirt and these leather pants, these faux leather shirts and pants, but they sold out online and I couldn't find them in stores. So when you see these pieces, these limited edition pieces, definitely check out the website, read all the information. If I hadn't checked the print and saw that they were available online at 3 a.m. the day of the launch, I would have missed out on several of these pieces because my local Target did not have them. So make sure that you read up on it, do some little research, make your little shopping list, and then yeah, good luck. If you have any questions, let me know. I love shopping these limited edition designer collections. I've done a lot of these hauls before. I'm actually featured in the Target 20th anniversary coffee book for my Target limited edition collection hauls. So if you have any questions um, or comments or just want to share what you purchased, please let me know in the comment section below. Or just say hi because I love to hear from you. Thank you so so much for watching. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so so much for watching once again. And stay tuned.